Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an efficiency build of Hangman's Alley. This is one of my favorite settlements, but I'm slightly disappointed because it had so much potential and there's so much I wanted to do with it that I sadly couldn't do due to Bethesda bugs, which we will get into in a minute. But I'll show you what I was, be able, uh, was able to do using the fewest resources possible and trying to make something that was self-sufficient. So let's first start by taking a look at the defenses. So this is the southern entrance. Um, it's not too complicated. I just put a couple of lamp posts there. And uh, then these are all of my defenses. And believe it or not, I did not need a mod to get these turrets on this little catwalk here. These three down here and those two up there, I actually just used the regular game to do it. Um, by the way, a pro tip, there's a glitch currently with spotlights where if you place the spotlight and fast travel away the light stops working to get it to work just enter workshop mode select it and then cancel select it and then cancel but as you can see um, I'm not using any mods and I'm even though the green line is still here I'm able to select and move all of these uh, turrets up there so uh, Pro tip for those of you playing on uh, console, you can put turrets out there, which is going to help. Uh, and then I did use a mod to push this guard tower up there to use as a support for my missile turret and my heavy laser turret. I also used a mod to not only create the hangman's alley sign, but to push it up there as well. Uh, also, I originally experimented with placing this guard tower right here on the outside. But the uh, settler wouldn't go to the guard tower. She just wouldn't wouldn't go to it. But in order to make room for it, I, I had to use console commands to push this truck out of the way. And I just didn't feel like pushing it back. So this truck is moved, and, and that's about it. So upon first entering, um, you can see that this is a tight space. Oh my goodness, it's a tight space. And I tried to get as much in as I could. But first, let's talk about the great limitation of this. For some reason, and this is a Bethesda bug, settlers will not walk past this point. That half of the alleyway is fully functional. Settlers will walk around, they'll sit, they'll manage shops, but past this point and they do not walk this way. Um, and it's really frustrating. I've already reported it as a bug to the unofficial mod patchers and they're, they're gonna be working on it hopefully, but the reason it's frustrating is because this is already a really tiny cramped space and the bug reduces the size of the space by half. Look at all of this room and all of this space that's underutilized just because settlers don't walk here. So I'll show you what I ended up using it for. I uh, created these platforms right here which were not in the game. I had to create them myself and I did use... I didn't use any exploits to do it, but basically in order to get these things to hang, you use, uh, <clears throat> the, you use a, uh, the stairway. Here, I'll show you. You use this. You use this to place it on the ground. You place it on the ground. Um, and then you snap these smaller little shack floors to that level. And then you scrap this, and those shack floors will hover in the air. So that's how I managed to get them to all sit there. And then I used a mod to produce these columns, these normal co these normal columns. And I also used a mod to create these slanted shack supports. So this whole section would not be possible without modding. But this is such a cramped space that I needed to use this over here for all of my bets. And the settlers will not go here at night. I mean, it's, you know, you know when it gets past, they, I believe they go to bed at uh, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock is, it's either midnight or 2. Actually, I think it's midnight. At midnight, all of the settlers will leave and, and go to bed. Or is it 2? It's either midnight or 2. But at whatever time they go to bed, they, they, they just stand around. They don't go over here because their bed's over here and they can't get to it. Even if you fast travel away and fast travel back, they will not be in bed. The way it typically works with a settlement is if you fast travel into a settlement during sleep time, all of the settlers will appear in their beds. Um, but this mod, I'm sorry, this, this settlement is so bugged that they still just stand around out here. So there's nothing for it. I just didn't have room for all of the shops and uh, resources that I needed 
and also all of their beds is stacked on top of it. So I used this spot, this space that they cannot access to put the beds. And um, I tried to make it nice. I used uh, sleeping bags to save space, and I decorated it with some paintings I, and some flags. I kept a little bit of a theme going on, so you can see it's sort of got this, you know, lines and circles and stars, paintings. I used all of those. Um, and then at the very top, I've got some uh, some uh, some windmill generators. These are just some wind power ge generators. And uh, down here, I have my water purifiers that came with the Wasteland Workshop, and this alleyway is still perfectly functional. I tried blocking off this alleyway, but um, it doesn't actually pr uh, reduce the number of attacks you get or block attackers from reaching you because enemy raiders spawn in this corner. And I'll show you how I know that. Those of you who have watched my other efficiency builds will know that I'm about to show you the settlement workshop. Sorry for the, uh, uh, the settlement uh, management software. Sorry for the vibrations, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a phone call on my phone. Here, let me move my phone. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so uh, this this mod gives you a lot of great information about the settlement that you're working on. Let's go to tasks. Let's go to mark attack spawn points, and this will now mark all of the attack spawn points for this settlement on your map. And uh, we see that for this particular settlement, there are only two spawn points. One is right out here. So this alleyway right here is where some raiders spawn, and they will be quickly dispatched thanks to all of the turrets I have here. But the other spawn point is all the way over here in this corner, right there. So by blocking off this alleyway, you're not reducing the number of attacks you get. Also, this door right here, when you find the settlement, it's originally chained off. And for the longest time, I thought, oh man, I should never have unchained this door because now I'm going to get attacked from this door. But no, uh, raiders do not spawn from over here. So. Feel free to open this door so that your provisioners can get in and out. The, your enemies, they spawn here. Here, let me fix this by selecting it and then removing it. And what do you know? The light now works. So the way I decided to deal with this is to put down some traps. Uh, in another video, I think it was Abernathy Farm, I did this very elaborate trap system, but I no longer like using traps, most traps, to defend my settlement because they're one-shot deals. After they defend your settlement, you have to repair them because they use up all their Tesla coils or they use up all their radiation or they're busted. So it's just one extra added layer of difficulty. Now these spring traps, to my knowledge, never break. And what happens is when you step on them, oh, right in the gullet. And I've never seen them break. I mean, they do do this, which is a glitch. They just stay up. but it fixes it if you go on and again. So my enemy raiders will spawn right here. They'll immediately get impaled and then rocketed with uh, a shotgun turret, a missile launcher turret, a heavy laser turret, and a machine gun turret. So that should be plenty to take care of them. All right, so let me show you my generator room. I, again, trying to use the space as well as I can. Since the game is bugged and settlers don't path this way, they just never walk down here, I wanted to use this space as much as I could for things that the settlement needs that settlers don't interact with, um, which includes this generator room. So I've got this generator room perched on top of that awning, and I used a, a mod to create the, these angled supports and I push them down on top of that. And then... Open it. There we go. Now... There we go. So here we are inside the generator room. I've got all sorts of generators all hooked up. And they go through this screen door. Uh, I typically use broken doors for my generators so that the wire can go through the broken door. But uh, sadly, the wire went through a section of the door that was not broken. Um, so I'm using a screen door, pretending that the port is just going through the screen. There we go. So that hooks up nicely. Uh, then I've got this wiring system all along the side here. Um, you know, I tried to make it as unobtrusive as possible. It just follows the contours of the place. 
And uh, let's talk about this middle section. So this is the edge boundary here. Settlers won't walk beyond this point. So I wanted to make this area functional. I've got two shops here and a seating area filled with food. They've got a big thing of noodles. They've got coffee cups filled with coffee. That's a Meyerlurk and then all sorts of meats, super tasty. Two bottles of bourbon, of course, and an assortment of shot you. glasses. Here's a coffee station in case they want to get coffee. And uh, I decided to use this unutilized space, which I originally used for some shopkeepers until I realized that settlers don't walk this way. I decided to use this unutilized space for food storage. It has no real function, it's just decoration. But I put a table here and I threw down a bunch of prepackaged foods and cooking utensils. I've got a cooking stove here, which actually works. So if Bethesda ever fixes the bug, then my settlers will be able to walk over here and cook at the cooking station. I used a mod to set down this shelf that comes uh, with pre-filled goodies. And then there's another shelf that kind of sits up there filled with all sorts of stuff. I, I was a little bummed. I originally put a bunch of bottles of Nuka Cola and beer in the refrigerator, but you can't see them through the windowed glass, which is a bummer. So this is just kind of sitting here. But let me show you what I'm really proud of. Look at that. Yeah, that's a ladle hooked over the edge of that pot. I had to use a mod to do it, but I did it. So pretty exciting. Okay, so moving on into the portion of the settlement that actually functions. Um, here's my workshop, of course. This came with the settlement, and I didn't, uh, I didn't have to put that down with Wasteland Workshop. Uh, cigarette machine back here, and a shop. This is one of my primary bars. I've got two bars. One bar here with bar stools, and I like using these bar stools because they have backs. And since they have backs, you can predict which way they'll sit. If they were sitting the opposite direction, they would be looking directly into the wings of the bar. So this way you can predict which way they're going to sit and you can make sure that they sit the correct way. By the way, if you'll notice from my previous videos, I uninstalled my immersive vendors mod. I had a mod installed that added all sorts of wonderful decorations to each of the different vendor stalls. Uh, but the problem is that each decoration not only took up space in my settlement, but it produces its own um, model, which means that your computer has to load it. So I quickly discovered that if I had five or more shops in one settlement, my FPS would tank to like 15, 16, 17. So for performance reasons, I uh, uninstalled that mod, and so sadly my, my shopping stalls are boring and vanilla, but you know what I call a good day? they work, uh, so I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Instead, I'm finding other ways to decorate. I put a basket of food down there. I put some ammo and um, nuke, uh, mini nukes up there. And, uh, then I'm using this space right here for more clothing, uh, for more uh, shopping. I wanted to be able to get as many uh, trading stores in as possible without taking up a lot of space. You're going to see a lot of um, seating all over this settlement because this settlement has a lot of people in it. It has 31 people in it, and not all of them are assigned to a task. And the reason they're not all assigned to a task is because settlers only shop at your stores and in turn produce revenue for you if they are unassigned. So let's take a look at our managed settlers. Of the 31 total settlers that I have, 10 are unassigned. So I've got six that are working on harvesting crops, and I've got one for each shop I have, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight working the shop, and then I have four that are scavenging, and the rest are all just wandering around. So uh, settlers who are unassigned will wander around, and they really only inter interact with workstations and um, shops and seats. So make sure that, that if you have a lot of unassigned set settlers, that you've got shops and seats and workstations so that they have something to do instead of just standing in the middle like these two are doing for some reason. Uh, okay, uh, so I've got one f water purifier back here, um, and I decided to put it on top of this garbage pile because it was just ugly and uh, that space I couldn't use anyway. I've got a scrapping station back there and a garden plot set down there with some mute f fruit plants. So if you watch some of my previous videos, you know that I typically like to use carrots because they're short. And yeah, they only produce half of a food, but they're short and that allows you to target and talk to any settler that's actually farming them. The problem with mute fruit plants is they're so tall and bulky that if your settler is farming them, you can't talk to the settler without also targeting the mute fruit plant. So it's pretty annoying. 
But because this settlement is so small, I really had to save as much space as possible. So I used the only food crop in the game that produces one food, the mute fruit plants. I put this ladder right here that walks up here. And this, this is nice because this, is, this ladder is really settler friendly. Uh, for some reason, this ladder has great pathing. Wherever you place a ladder like this down, settlers tend to walk up it just fine. And then I placed two garden plots right here. And as you can see, look, the mute fruit plants are so thick you can't even see the or select the settlers that are gardening down there. But they're there, and it's working. I placed an elevated platform here for uh, these two stalls, these two vendor stalls. And I'm placing them on platforms because the earth is going to be uneven. And even if you're putting it on cement, uh, there will be rocks and bricks and junk that you can't scrap. And uh, So no matter what happens, everything you place down looks like it's floating. Unless you place it on some sort of platform. So I put these two platforms down. I put steps on them. These tiny steps are also really settler friendly when it comes to pathing. And uh, then back behind here, which I realize you can't get to right now, uh, is, is the ladder to the guard station, which is right here. And she's manning it just fine. Now, this is another bar, and I wanted to have it here. It was really awkward to get it there. I had to make sure that this was positioned in such a way so that people can actually walk around here. And uh, then there's the fact that it's elevated. So I had to build a platform here using two very tiny shack floors and then the mod that produces this angled support so that settlers can come up here, come around, and purchase from the bartender. Uh, okay, you can see my settler recruitment beacon over there on top of that. I didn't use a mod to get it there. It, it naturally fits there. And then finally, let's come on in here, and I decided to use this house, which you can't scrap, as a scrap station. So I've got two little scrapping scavenger stations here with settlers assigned to them, and uh, I'm using this wall for scrap and storage. You know, books, all sorts of scrap, food, ammunition, base, uh, components, and then of course my, um, my terminal, which I use to uh, run my management software. So I'm going to unmark all my spawn points, take a look at my settlers, 31 people, 10 are unassigned, you can see all of the jobs they're doing, and uh, this helps you. One thing, in, in a previous video I talked about how um, you can use this mod to find which settlers are bugged, but you can also unassign them from a task. And the reason this is important is because if you simply remove a resource from the settlement, the settler doesn't actually get unassigned from the resource. They're still assigned to that resource. They just end up in this limbo state where they're in this phantom working um, status, uh, which means that they don't start generating caps. So if you do want them to shop at your shops, you have to get that mod, download the settlement management software, and manually unassign them from their task so that they purchase from you. By the way, I used to have this bench here beneath the flag, but I found that each settlement has their own animation hotspots where settlers will just go and do a unique animation like lean against a wall or smoke a cigarette or whatever. And I discovered that, coincidentally, uh, Bethesda placed one right here in front of the flag, which I thought was cool. But she clips with the bench if you put the bench there. So I had moved the bench over here. And I put as much seating in here as I could so that the settlers had, had actually something to do. Finally, this corner uh, over here is where I decided to put one more scavenging station and the doghouse. I, uh, I plan to put a dog trap up here soon so that I can get another settler. Uh, another uh, dog. So there you go. There is my hangman alley. Um, I had a lot of plans that I wanted to do with this that were sadly thwarted by the bug that does not allow you to use half of the settlement. But uh, for what I was able to do, I, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, it produces happiness, it produces caps, it produces scrap, and it looks halfway decent. And it sounds like my son is ready for dinner. So I will leave it at that. Thanks everybody for watching, and stay tuned for my next efficiency settlement build for Fallout 4.